What else have we got to talk uh, about? Seize Them, which is a Dark Ages romp directed by Curtis Vowell of old V O W E L L. Dark who... Ages. Yeah, Dark oh, Ages. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, he made a Baby Done with Rose Matafeo, which I reviewed for back in 2020, written by Andy Riley, whose website says, Andy Riley writes and draws the Action Dude children's books, which you might have come across. He also wrote and drew the uh, King Flashy Pants book series. He writes extensively for film and TV. His credits include Romeo and Juliet, Pirates in an Adventure with Scientists, uh, Ron's Got Wrong, and Horrible Histories. So this feels very much in the same vein as Horrible Histories. Also very much in the same vein as uh, Catherine Colbertie, which you and I loved. Yeah. Amy Lou Reed, who came on the Halloween show. Remember her? She was in Living, and she came on the Halloween show dressed as Miss Havisham. I remember. And she was great. I then saw her on stage in Cabaret. Cabaret. She was absolutely brilliant. So she is Queen Dagon, who initially seems like a relative of Miranda Richardson's Queenie. We meet her in a court, which is being besieged by a revolution led by Humble Joan. Nicola Coughlin, uh, humble Joan, who's very, very humble. She said, no, no, I don't require a title, just Joan. And uh, when the rebels break in, the Queen says, seize them, which nobody does. That's where the title comes from. So she ends up fleeing with Maid Shulmay, who is uh, Lolly Adafope, and then they meet up with Nick Frost's Bobbick, whose job is a poo shoveler. That's not the word they use. No. The word they use is the other word. So they're heading for the coast, hoping to meet up with relatives from across the water who will restore her to her throne. I'm going to play you a clip. When I got sent this clip, it hadn't been birdsonged. I imagine by the time you hear it, it will have been. Your throne is lost. When I was a girl, I watched my father punish traitors. He would cleave off their arms and shove them up their asses. That's nice. And then he would cleave off their asses and shove those up, whatever remained. Greetings, peasants! Your queen needs clothes. My name is Bobbick. We'll walk to Fingerstone Rock to find new soldiers for the queen. You're going to need a horse. They all died. A dragon, then? Yeah, they're not real. <laughs> Okay, so they birdsong one bit. A this, little bit. But, just but, a little bit. Thank not, you, Nick. Apparently arses is fine. Well done for that. So, um, Catherine Corberti was a 12 for moderate sex references, violence and upsetting scenes. This is a 15 for strong language and injury detail. The BBFC description says it's a black comedy set in a medieval period in which a queen flees for safety after a violent peasant revolt. Grisly images result from the violence, though a humorous and often crude tone pervades. There is lots of swearing, lots of blood, and I have to say, lots of fun. It passed the six laugh test easily, although the screening that I was in, the critic screening I was in, I think some other critics tired of the jokes earlier than I did because I have a very infantile sense of humour and I, you know, the, the swearing and violence, I'm sorry, just worked for me. The whole thing looks like it was shot for 10p, I mean, there are shots of like three, four, five people in a field or on a beach with two chairs. That's the set. Like literally when they meet people from across the water, there'll be two chairs on a beach. Uh, that's it. And I mean, it's the kind of thing you used to have said it looked like a television film. Nowadays, television films look like feature films. This looks like what a television film used to look like before TV started looking like feature films. The cast are having great fun, but not in that indulgent way that means that we can't have fun as well, because there's always that thing about, you know, the more fun it is to make, the less fun it is to watch. Humble Joan steals every single scene. I mean, it, the first time when she turns up, she said, no, I'm Humble Joan. Yes, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to. It's, it's just great. She's terrific. It does, oddly enough, have a serious point about Stalinism and uh, how all power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And it has loads of bum poo excretory jokes yes many of them delivered by nick frost many of them delivered by amy lee wood and i being of somebody of a childish sense of humor found all of that very funny if you work in a genito urinary clinic would you find that funny i think so i think so <laughs>